This 135-pound championship match is brought to you by Top Gun Freestyle Team, Illinois' number one freestyle club. Strategy is to keep attacking from what I've been doing all, all day, yesterday. Same thing, low singles, high practice, whatever I see this open, I take it. Eight seconds, we've only had one takedown uh, attempt here. Let's get it on, boys. Let's, <laughs> let's, see, go, let's get it going. Uh, well, it was last year as a junior, uh, I wasn't really ready at going against Kennedy. Um, a lot of people didn't really give me a chance at all. Uh, I just figured it was a chance to go out there and prove myself and get my name out there. This year, my goal from the start was to win it. Uh, I wanted to be back in there. It makes you hungry when you turn the lights off and uh, you walk out of the tunnel. So just you just want to get back there again. Once the finals is over, you want to get, keep working. So that's what I did. Started working right after the finals last year. It's, it's, become, it's good and bad. I think wrestlers, point scores would be higher if we couldn't scout each other. But now with videotape, there's so much scouting that goes on. There's, you're able to, able to better anticipate what's going on. So let's see if we can get some action here. We're back in action here with a minute 15 to go in the first period. Well, it looks to me like Lloyd wants to get going, but he is really nervous of Prater's uh, length. And, and power, and, and Prater is, is doing a good job of, of tying him up. So uh, this has not been as, as firepowered of the first period as I, I might have anticipated. Well, for sure, Lloyd is going to have to use his quickness here, and he's uh, looking for a shot chance to use that because Prater does definitely have that reach advantage as we go under 45 seconds in the first period and no score. Prater is no stranger to the low scoring match as he gets the wizard in. Nice shot by Lloyd. And, oh, almost finished it. Nothing yet. There now it, it is. is. Okay, that was a tough finish on Lloyd's part. That was a nice job because it looked to me like Prater was going to snake out on him. Another takedown with short time left in the period. This is going to be a great 20 seconds. Let's see if number one ranked guy in the state, Ryan Prater, can get his butt moving on bottom and get this critical point in the last 20 seconds of the period. I think that's a jump on Red. Yeah, that's yep. a jump on Lloyd. Despite the false start, nice tack now. He changes sides. He lined up on the right and jumped to the left. Now he's going back to the left. Let's see if he sticks with that. I think he will. He picks the ankle. Nice inside switch. Countered well, though. I, I think if he had his druthers, he would. <laughs> No. I really don't think he wants to be on Prater, the mat. With Prater, Prater is not a guy you want to ride when the when the match is on the line. Yeah. He'll take his. He'll be very happy to be leading two to one going to the second period. I can guarantee you that. Wow! I tell you what. Now, that, now here's some action that we were anticipating coming in. I, I'm looking for a fun four minutes left. Yeah, Prater's ticked. I mean, he's he's angry that he got taken down. He moved good. He, he let's see if he keeps that pace. Prater defers. Lloyd will start down. Lloyd leads two to one. I have one piece of advice. Lloyd, come up, get out now. That, uh, that was advice that would be well taken considering Prater's prowess on top. He does tripod out of there. Prater is longer than Lloyd, and he looks he just looks like he likes being down in the mat. Okay, nice job Ooh, by got Lloyd. Got out easily. He turned in, and he has Prater's leg. He can take this for a reversal instead of an escape. Of course, I don't think it matters, because even if he gets a reversal, he's just going to turn him loose. Uh-oh. He had a chance for one, and he didn't take it. Now, if they stalemate there, it'll be interesting to see if they give him the one-point escape. I would. I think they're neutral. I, I, would is, agree, I would agree with you, but so far, they have not made any call. Yeah, this is going to be a stalemate, but I would give the guy yep. an escape. I felt, felt that he escaped yep. and then took a shot. But they're not going to call it. They're going to put him back on bottom. Wow. I yeah, no, they, they, I, I don't see that called a lot here. They may do it elsewhere. I think I, I, I think the uh, call there is no loss of control, although you could certainly make the case for one. Yeah, I'll make that case. I'm, I'm looking at the national wrestling. I'm all over the country watching wrestling. Most of the time, that was oh, a great boy, that step was a, over. Oh, there's a nice good step scramble. over. This is a good scramble but, on Lloyd's part. I think he... He needs to get out. He needs to get out because I don't think he wants to spend another minute well, underneath that. The crab ride is back in now uh, for Ryan Prater. Under a minute to go here in the second period. Wow. This is a lot of energy being used by Lloyd when he could have been out already. Well, he's got the two on one now, does Prater. That's going to turn out. That could be a big tactical error as this match goes on because even if he doesn't get turned here he's using up a lot of energy that he could have saved for the third period not to mention the one point Prater is still with the two on one 
under 30 seconds to go now, and a stalemate is called. 26 left to go in the second period. Prater looking for a ride out, maybe more. Lloyd has got to come up. He's got to come up and turn inside like he did before. The tripod's nice, but he's got to get his hips out. Oh, he's uh, trying he to shouldn't. step over. Oh, boy. Not this is, yeah, that this, this, that's that a position. A bad idea. That's a position, though, that Prater over the years has shown he's so comfortable in. And Short time. Eight seconds left. This is tough. No, this, no change of control. He should go to the Peterson side. He's going the wrong way. Oh, boy, what a scramble. What a scramble. That's no, no. They're not going to give him the escape. No, oh, wow. he managed to keep locked in the crotch. That and was, he got the ride out. He's going to really wish he had that point that he that he didn't take when he had the chance for a reversal and did not take the escape early in that second period. Well, and second caution on Lloyd. He's got to be careful now. I tell you what, if I'm Lloyd, I'm cutting him loose right now and going on the feet. Oh, I think you have to. That, already, he is not going to beat him on the mat. He's just not going to. And he's already gotten two cautions. So there okay, you go. He, he effectively cut him loose there just by letting go on the first move. That was a nice snap down. Let's see if he can convert. Nice. Oh, no, nope, he's not going to get it. Not enough combination yeah. there. Prater, Prater Went straight almost, underneath again. Prater couldn't get there. almost had a heel pick. Didn't, couldn't quite pull it in. Sucker drag. Oh, he got, got overzealous. Oh, Lloyd's got the bear hug. Prater has the Prater still got the, the wizard. wizard. The still got the wizard. wizard position. Classic position okay. wrestling. As you remember, this will Mark, be a stalemate. NCAA champion for Northwestern, Jack Griffin was great oh, yeah. with the seatbelt series. He'd get that underhook, go across the back. Uh, yes, he, he was. That on a future Olympian, Zeke Jones, uh -huh. at exactly the right time in his career. Yep, NCAA champion sure for Northwestern, Jack Griffin, Illinois native, state champion here down in Champaign. Nice single leg shot. He's got to finish though. Prater has shown he's tough he to finish on. Took the shot and he stopped. Oh, he's, oh that's what? funky. That's no, that's a unique counter. No, yeah, stepping, a, still stepping across like that's pretty oh, odd. Oh, and he got back Seat to his again. feet. Seatbelt again. Seatbelt again. Can he step in there? He's looking a little bit tired. He's looking tentative, too. Minute five left to go here. You know what, Jack? two to two. Oh, oh, what a, what a, what you talked earlier about, uh, about hitting about hitting arm drags from different positions and he just about finished with that. Yeah, he almost hit the McElravey drag there. Boy, he doesn't convert that seatbelt aggressively enough though, he's too tentative. You know, Griffin, he works my camps in Chicago and he, he's really talking to kids about when you get the seatbelt, you gotta suck the hip in and pull him to you. If you let him get stretched out, it's no good. But you gotta really use that arm to pull, to get hip to hip. And he's letting too much space. Lloyd both is giving too much look, space between the hips. Both these guys looking a little tired now well, as we tick down to 40 seconds. A little surprised about that with Prater, quite frankly. Yeah, I would agree with you. Both of these guys are fatigued, and they're both nervous of what the other one has to offer. Gut check here. Gut check. Now warning. a stall warning against Lloyd. Nice single. Oh, wizard oh. cross ankle pick. He tried. Boy, Prater Lloyd's is in. funky with that ankle pick. Lloyd is Prater. in. And and Prater has Lloyd still has the, the wizard. Is so wizard. tough with that. Still Prater has the wizard. So tough with that wizard. And I don't, I don't think Lloyd's going to be able. I don't think Lloyd's going to be able to seatbelt him. I think Prater's just too long yeah. and wide. He, he's got to have other techniques from the seatbelt though. He needs the limp arm. He needs to have a step over tactic. There's, we have 11 seconds left to go. Now 10, 9. Lloyd in again on the leg. Prater again with the wizard. Three, two. One, can he limp arm out? He cannot. Okay. We're going to overtime. Sudden victory. Let's see who's got the guts and technique when they're tired. One and minute goes on the clock. And these two guys are fatigued. There's no question about it. So you're right. This is definitely gut check time. See, I don't, I, I'm disappointed. You got to be tireless. I'm, these guys are standing around catching their breath for 10 seconds. This is a chance you seek sudden death to break your opponent. If you believe you've outworked your opponent, you get in his face and you wear him down and you break him. These guys have taken the last 20 seconds off. Half shot without a setup there for Lloyd. Stopped easily by Prater. Well, you got to figure. 35 seconds left. Oh, Pray bad, bad. Not a, not a good idea there. That was a terrible tactic. That was sloppy. Nothing yet. Prater. they got to give a chance to scramble here. There's going to be a big scramble. Got to get Nothing his leg yet. out. Got to get, leg out. Gotta to get the leg Let out. Him keep wrestling. Let him keep wrestling. That's what awesome a wrestling. scramble. What a Nine scramble. Nothing seconds. yet. They're still going at it. 
Oh, man, that crazy. is that's one of the best scrambles we've seen away. tonight. The Both goal. guys could have scored win. takedowns about five different times in there, and it goes to Pratter at the very end on the edge with 10 seconds left. That's what Somehow. you got to do. Never stop wrestling. What a finish to a tough, tough match. Somehow, Prater reached in for the single. Switched off to the double. He had Lloyd. You think the greatest scramble you have ever seen in a state final match. It's nothing compared to what we just saw here. This Both guys were on the verge of takedowns about three different times in that scramble. What a finish. The thrill of victory and the oh, agony of defeat. Oh, I know he's, he's a tough kid. He's a warrior. I've never been this tired before in my life. I, I, know, I, I thought I was going to run out of breath there. Oh, it wouldn't let me quit, so I knew he was going to come with those doubles. I just wanted to use my scrambling abilities on the ground and keep that hard wizard. They had a pretty good wizard. Um, I was trying to beat it out, but he was just too strong. I was trying to come with uh, what Hunter always got me with. Uh, beat the arm around the front headlock, so couldn't get it on him, so I, just, I, don't know, I, didn't, want, I didn't want to shoot that ankle because I didn't know how fast it was, but it was tough.